Alexa, off. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 10.43 a.m. 10.43 a.m.? Oh, man. I gotta get ready. I have so much I gotta do. Ugh. Let's get going, shall we? <sighs> Gotta get started. Need to get caffeinated. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that type of day. Time to make something. Okay. All right. Hey guys, what's going on? So, like promised, I was going to get to it. I was going to start something. So, I said I was going to show in my update video. And thank you for everybody who went there and checked out and all. And thank you to everybody who went and checked out some of the people that I mentioned. I appreciate that you went there and go check them out and see what they might have to offer to you as well. Um, so today, I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, a, really, a bamboo walking stick look really cool. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to get the burn, the burn marks in it and get off all the natural wax that's on, inside the... Um, I'm sorry, not inside but on the bamboo, which in turn makes it shiny and almost shellax it on its own. The only, so what we're talking about is something like this. This one is Dean's. This is what we did here. We're going to go over how to do the, the handle and everything else. And he got a little creative and put his amethyst stone on there. So he's got a little bit of Lord of the Rings work in here. But this is for his arrow light. We got to decorate it up just a little bit more, but that's this one. And you can do them in any size. I need somewhere. Ah, that's Maya's. Anything a little shorter, measured up to her height. Could be a cane down the line. But, uh, and again, I don't know if it's easy to see on this one because the camouflage one you can't see. That makes the grips and everything. We'll go over that one and another thing and how to make the handle that goes with the whole tying part. But to make this, you need to start out with something like Let's try it like this. Hold on. Okay. 
a regular piece of bamboo. Just cut down, ready to roll, and everything else. Now, when you're gonna go get bamboo, a lot of the times you find this almost anywhere. For some reason, I, I, I don't know, on Long Island, you, almost everywhere, on the schoolyards and everything else like that. We found these uh, in the soccer field, in the wooded area. They're just growing there. Uh, if, when you wanna cut it down, don't think you just go there and break it. Bamboo is really strong. It's also very sharp as well. So bring a handsaw to cut it down or a pair of uh, clippers that you can clip it down. All right, so after you get your bamboo, then you're gonna to wanna to do a couple of things to it. Uh, you wanna let it sit for a little bit and let it dry out. When it's, when it's green and everything else like that, you're not ready to do that. It's got too much moisture inside of it. So when you get it looking this color, this tan color, you're ready to roll. I mean, you can do with some of the green ones if you're cutting from the lower of the base, but when it gets up high, you end up with something like this. And it's, it's, see, it's squishy. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's really squishy. You can't use that. That was still growing. It. I mean, you can use it as a walking stick if you wanted to, but you can't do the burn trick. Um, it's still strong, but it's, uh, hot, it's much, much hollow and it's not, it's not really, it doesn't have no stability. All right. So anyways, to do this, you're going to need a torch, a lighter, and a rag. Uh, make sure it's a rag that you don't want to use again. All right. So before you get started on this, you're going to notice that on bamboo, there's these notches. This is where they grow from. Each one of these is a chamber. And as you can see there, they're closed off if you cut it at a certain point. Now, if I was to cut it here, you would be able to, it'd be hollow. When you want to cut it, you want to leave that part there. You can put something in there like a small compass or something like that. But if you want to, I already did this ahead of time to save some time, but you want to drill holes in the chambers, the little ones, nothing big, down all the way down to the end. So that way when you're heating it up, it's a, uh, it doesn't expand on you and crack. That's why Dean ended up putting the amethyst in his We Learn Trial by Arrow. So we put that in there because it did start splitting at the top. That ended up fitting in there and we decorated it really nice. It worked out good. So it was um, a mistake that turned into a, a nice, you know, a nice little accident. All right, so let's get started. Hold on. A little more caffeine here. Okay. And anybody who's watching this who's a scout or anything else like that, please make sure you somebody knows what you're doing. You are messing with fire. This one, for some reason, it's getting a lot hotter than the other one did it, so I'm glad I had my gloves handy. We get to the fun part, and that's making the burn mark. Now, I like going right at the bottom here, going like that. And bring it down a little bit, give it a nice little burn. The spots just Think make it look a little, a little more 
I guess storeboard or something like that. There it is. Bamboo walking stick. Completely finished, ready to go. And you'll see, too, after heating it, I had a little bit more bend in this. It actually makes it really stiff. And this is this is good. Um, I decided, which, since I'm doing walking sticks after we wrap it, and I'm going to show everybody, like, what's the reason to have a walking stick? Like, why are you going? Just to help you? You're tired? That's one thing, but there's a couple of really cool things that I ended up learning um, that for, uh, that came out good, I like that, um, for having them when you go hiking. So guys, thank you for watching. If you like what I'm doing, make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It's right down there, so if you just leave a comment, that'd be great. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That will uh, let you know about any new videos that I'm doing. I'm trying to put a little bit more into them. I hope you guys notice and enjoy what I'm doing. I'm trying to make it more fun, trying to make it what's going on up in this head, and that's so cut and dry. Um, and um, thanks for watching. I appreciate every last one of you. So, um, like I've been saying, adventures out there, all you need to do is go and find it. So get outside and do it. Later.